Hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm the geeky ballerina. This is my giant dog, Friga, who apparently is joining us today. But today we're gonna to talk about your midline. Midline awareness really should be the primary goal of your elementary division. So you're like eight to 11 year olds or so. Or if you're an adult beginner, like let this be the focus of your first year of study, like your own personal explorations. <laughs> Oh, she's sleepy, that's cute. Midline, where is the midline of your body? It's here. It goes from the top of your head all the way down. And when you're standing in first position, your midline lands in between your heels. This sounds like a really simple concept. So you're probably wondering why am I so excited about this? Because it gets taught in some interesting ways. So for example, I did a very well-known teacher training where they insisted that in the beginning levels of training, the tondu should come, the tondu devant should go directly out from the toe. So it looked like this. Here in first position, the tondu devant would, the toe would take the tondu out. They were very insistent on this. I don't agree. This is an odd little shape that no one's gonna ask you to use. I think with your elementary level dancers, it is more helpful to think, where is your midline? It's coming down your body. There it is. Keep your heel on your midline as you tendu devant, and then do your best to bring your toes to that same line. Depending on ankle flexibility, you may or may not get there, but I think that is a much more useful way to teach center line to the elementary kids. When you're talking beginning, like your babies up through about age seven, I wouldn't worry too much. Like, yeah, maybe mention it, but they are not old enough or they're not coordinated enough to make, to be able to decide whether they're gonna prioritize where their heel goes or where their toe goes. It's just going forward. So don't worry about it with your beginning kids. But with your elementary level kids, I do think it is more useful to keep your heel on that pathway and bring your toe to the midline. But what about when you're working from fifth position? Okay, midline is super useful when you come into fifth position because it also helps with weight placement. So I'm gonna go to the side. Now it becomes more of a center line because I'm thinking about merry-go-round, but I want that center line to be between my feet. I don't wanna have my weight back. So, oh, I'm not in the mood to do like a really good fifth position, I'm tight. But you know, for your sake, I will try to flatten it out a little bit because it applies no matter how flat you are. You don't wanna be back. You definitely don't wanna be forward. Oh, that is not good on my ankle. You want your center line to land equally between your two feet. Also, you want your center line, here's my belly button, going down. It's gonna end about here. That's not the exact middle of my foot, but generally there's your navicular bone. It's generally in that area. If it's way off, we have done something funky. So the center line is very, very helpful in finding your fifth position. Now, when we tendu devant from here, we are not going to go to the toe. We are not going to go to the heel. Now your students need to be somatically aware enough that they know where their center line is and they can bring their foot to that center line. So the heel adjusts, the toe adjusts, and we maintain the integrity of the center line. This is super important in rond de jambe. Rond de jambe should be passing through a first position, so they should be getting there anyway. But if you do the first one from a fifth, we need to be able to know where we're going. One thing that I've been seeing a lot lately as I've been guest teaching is Ronda Jones that go through fifth and they'll go fifth to first to fifth to out. This is incorrect. If you've been teaching it, please stop. I think that the fifth to around to fifth to first to fifth to around, I think that's coming from a misunderstanding of how to teach a, like, a fully appropriately aligned Ronda Jones. I think that that is an overcorrection or a poorly worded correction for people whose ronde jumps are not hitting the midline, but we do not go through fifth position in a ronde jump. Please stop teaching that. 
This is why your midline matters. And then we need our midline for pirouettes. If you're doing a pirouette from fourth, you better know exactly where your midline is and where it's going to be as you turn. Because if your midline, your center line, does not get over the point of the foot that you are turning on, your turns will not be as successful. If you're doing a pirouette from fifth, you better have that center line where it belongs. It applies in Petit Allegro as well, especially in Assemblée. If you're doing an Assemblée and you're not quite sure where your midline is, you're gonna tilt, you're gonna flap, you're gonna travel, it's not great. <laughs> so we start paying attention to the midline at about foundation C slash level one, so you know age seven or eight, or in your first year of training if you are an adult or teen beginner, because we need to know where that is so that all of our technique can be clean. If you have questions about the way that I divide my levels, I do have teaching materials on my website. I have lesson plans. I have curricula. I have a blog. I have a monthly newsletter where I talk about technique and artistry. They both get covered every month, and you can find all of those resources on my website, geekyballerina.com. I hope you have a really great class.